All right, this is going to be fun. Am I the asshole? Get for, out of my way. For not getting out of my way. No. Um, am I the asshole for labeling my wife's tears as immature and subsequently being made to sleep on the living room floor? Ooh. Oh, it's my read. For me, who reads at a third grade level, this probably was not the right one for me. Recently, my wife asked to visit a temple and an open house on Saturday, and I agreed. However, I was running 15 to 30 <laughs> minutes late as I got ready. While I was in the bathroom, she began to cry and shout loudly. When I rushed out, I found her sobbing uncontrollably and sitting on the floor for support. She expressed her frustration about potentially missing the open house. Oh, shit. Although we typically attend open houses every weekend and can often visit on some days, if we miss one on Saturday, I responded to her distress by saying, I am ready and I was already hurrying up in the bathroom. You have grown up. You have grown up. Even now we... Even now why are you crying like a child for something so small as that? Even if we can't make it to the open house today because it gets closed, we will still be open. It will still be open tomorrow, and we can go. We are. You are 32 years old, and still you show childness. <gasps> Childishness. Okay. Maybe you think it seems hot or something. Oh my God! Uh, he seems like a dick. After this, I got dressed and asked. If we were still going, my wife angrily grabbed frozen chicken from the freezer, slammed it into the fridge, and said, You right. You are right. So this is your shelf in the refrigerator. This is your chicken. From now on, you'll cook for yourself and sleep in the hall. I'll lock the bedroom door. Huh, all right. For the past five days, she has remained in the locked bedroom, leaving only the ba bathroom breaks... Only for bathroom breaks and meals. We live in a one-bedroom apartment till I'm I've been forced to sleep on the carpeted living room floor. We don't have a bed or couch in the living room, and she I is only cooking for herself. Morning. So I've been eating out or cooking on my own. On the first night, I knocked on the locked bedroom door asking for my pillow so I could sleep in the living room. She replied, fuck yourself. I asked again for the pillow, and she said, Fuck yourself, fuck yourself, outside. You're saying I'm 32 years old and not sexy anymore. Oh my. Your face is as dark as your asshole. Oh! Note that I never said you were 32 years and not sexy anymore. I only said 32 years and acting childish. Maybe you think it is hot or something. I'm sucking. Yikes, this is getting wild. We we are both Asian Indian oh with my brown God. skin, but my complexion is darker than hers. So her comment felt offensive. I, cho I chose not to respond to avoid escalating this situation as she might have started screaming and disturbing our neighbors. Instead, I slept on the bed sheet on the floor using a blanket as a pillow. Um, that's a lot to unpack. That is a lot. Oh, yeah, they they both kind of suck, though. Yeah. It sounds like they both don't really respect each other in the marriage. Yeah, I, um, I'd happen to agree. At all. Yeah. I think that... Land. For, for one, running 15 to 30 minutes late is not a big deal. Especially if they could go and, you know see the whatever it is the next day like it is what it is if you kind of sprung it on the guy last second like you, you can only get like all of us we can only get ready so quickly if mm -hmm. he was like taking his time and not taking it seriously then you know probably some reason to be frustrated mm -hmm. but i mean if you like just like out of nowhere hey i want to go do this thing all right i'll go get ready quick and you're Getting frustrated over mm -hmm. him not getting ready as quickly as you would like to him to. 
or vice versa. It, it would act oh. either way. Okay. I think it's kind of assholey. Uh, yeah, I think she was kind of in the wrong first. I mean, yeah, it was something that was kind of, damn it, kind of important to her, mm -hmm. um, which does mean something, I think. But at the same time, she didn't need to respond with animosity first. Hello? Hi. Why are you invading my space? Because I love your space. Oh, okay. Um... She didn't have to respond that way first. But, then again, he didn't need to respond with how he did. And while he may not have said that he didn't think she was um, sexy anymore, there was, def there was definitely things that were said about um, appearances. And yeah. I don't think that you should ever bring something up like that in a relationship. Like, leave that out of it. Because nine times out of ten, like... They can't help how they look like, so why? Like, and if you weren't happy with it, then why? Yeah, I, I, I think she's an asshole for overreacting the way that she did initially. I think he's the asshole for the way that he said the things that he said and the things that he said. And I, I don't think they were right either. Like, you could have just said honey, it's okay. We can go tomorrow. Like, it'll be the same thing mm -hmm. all over again. We'll go see another one next weekend if you want. Like, it's not like it's the last time that we're gonna go to an open house. Where'd the ball go? To, to your left, up there on the ceiling. I see it. But you definitely didn't need to bring it in, like, tell her that she's acting like a child. Yep. Even if you think that she's acting like a child. Like, yep. this is obviously important to her. Oh my god. Don't think, don't call your wife a child because she has interests. That's my thing. Yeah, I, I think agree. both assholes. I agree. Alright, I'll try and find one more. We'll see As I'm sucking. <laughs> what in the hell? Why? Where did the ball go? Where did the ball go? It's in front of me. Oh my god! Get it in the goal! Oh my god. This what? one's gonna be so bad. Am I the asshole for leaving my son in the room and saving myself when my house was on fire? <laughs> yes. <laughs> initial thought. Here's my initial thought. And I want your initial thought too. This is fake. You're going, by the way. Oh, shit! <laughs> Oh, well, I'm on the ceiling. I got hit by the ball. I was on the ceiling. Watch this. Look at me. I'm on the ceiling! <laughs> if I would have just dropped down. I have nine seconds. Okay. So. I started off really good. Now I just. A few days ago, my husband was working around the fireplace and he accidentally set our house on fire. Oh my god. He himself was also caught in the fire and was shouting for help. I heard his voice and came to the living room and saw him and started panicking. Then I tried to help him by using the fire extinguishers in, in our house. Okay. Luckily, I saved him... But by the time this happened, the fire had already spread across the room and he, we both just ran outside the house and called the fire help, firefighters for help. Meanwhile, my infant son, who can't even sit properly right now, was still in the house in our bedroom. Oh my god. Mm. I mean, I knew what I was doing. I helped my husband, my husband and we both got out safely, leaving our son behind. And I knew how it would sound. I know how this sounds, but I, all I could think about was that I can always make a new baby with my <gasps> husband. No! I can't make the same husband now, can I? This can't be real. This cannot be real. I'm not done yet. And it took me so me a long time to find this perfect husband. God. But just one random ah. woohoo session to make this baby. No! So I kind of had to decide what's more important. Do I have ni nitrous? 
<laughs> yes. Oh, God. Evil dude, get out my way. But now the, the player that controls me is angry with me for not thinking about my son who was very Oh my god, away. this is this is not no, real. Fire. This is uh, No. This, this is cannot. not real. It's fucking Sims. The player that controls me. It's Sims. Uh, it's fucking Sims. It's fucking Sims. Certified Sims asshole. <laughs> As soon as I heard that, I was like, no! Player that, I was wondering what the hell they were talking about. Certified oh. Sims asshole. Certified Sims asshole. Am I the asshole for not giving up my room for my uncle and his girlfriend? Oh. Posted one day ago. Where's my ball? Is my ball is this way. There it is. Go get it. Okay, man. I'm gonna run this. Oh, this is a this is a this is a thing. Oh, what? Okay, I I'll try it. Here we go. Oh. So, I, a 23 female, still live at home. My mom told me that this weekend my aunt and cousin, who just flown in from Brazil, would be staying with us. I also knew. That my other aunt, cousin, my uncle, and my uncle's girlfriend were also coming over oh, a family it. night. Which is completely okay with me. Cool. Whatever. No problems. Yesterday, after I left work, my mom sent me a message saying, Your uncle and his girlfriend are gonna sleep in your room. And then proceeded to throw in a laughing emoji. Okay. Weird. I was confused and told my mom no. My room wasn't clean to have people sleep there. My one no turn my one no turned into a whole argument and my mom then proceeded to say that she works harder than me and what she says goes. Mm hmm Okay. I was angry at this point. One. Am this, I winning? Uh what team are you on? I don't know. No. <laughs> Poor blood. Am I? Yeah. So I'm going for the orange one. Yeah. Well. One. This was last minute. She had the whole week to tell me, but didn't until two hours before everyone was coming over. Two. She didn't ask me if they can sleep in my room, but rather told me. Three. She brought up the fact that she works harder than I have heard. I have heard this since I was little. For context, I have always helped my mom around the house, even helped her when my younger siblings were born. I did everything I could, but it was never enough, and they made sure to let me know. It almost feels like she weaponizes everything she does against me. I wrote all of this down and hit send. No, but my dumb self n wanted to edit a typo, but accidentally unsent the message. I was driving when typing. Don't text and drive, everyone. No shit. That is actually in the post. Okay. She took offense to what I said and was mad that I unsent the message. Why? Okay. She sent me a voice note completely manipulating me, what? saying that she works hard because no one thinks of her. No one will remember her when she dies. So she has to do everything in her power to make sure she survives her words. Okay. I have heard this phrase oh, since shit. I was young, and it never sat well with me. She also st started to love bomb me. Oh, she's a narcissist. And said that even when, with my scandalous thoughts, she would still love me because that's what mothers do. Bullshit. I have heard my mom say she loves in me a, long, a very long time. That brought tears to my eyes because she deep down, it, because deep down it didn't feel true. Moreover, 
She said she forgot to tell me because she's so busy and old be and old she doesn't remember things anymore. But we had dinner together two nights in a row. She could have told me then. She was victimizing herself the entire time because I said no. I told her this has nothing to do with emotions or anything but else but just the fact that she told me two hours prior to everyone's arrival. I'm an adult. And I need my space. I told her that. She completely missed the point and brought up more things from the past and stated that I called her an abusive mother, which those words never left my mouth. When everyone came over, I found out on the spot that my uncle's girlfriend's daughter was also sleeping over. I had no idea about any of this. It was just a night full of surprises. When it came to bedtime, I started feeling guilty and bad about saying no. So Reddit, am I the asshole? Yikes. Um, okay. Thoughts? Um, <laughs> I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> um. Never claim to be professionals. No. Get a babe, get a babe, get a babe. Oh, I went almost, the other way. Almost. You almost got it. Oh! No. It, I try. Um, I'm gonna say not the asshole. Yeah. Just because... Oh, like, uh, no! Oh. As I throw myself into the edge. Okay. Why are we going like this, my guy? So, she never really explained it in the whole thing. They're just toying but with me. Where's the... the ball? Oh. Oh, I guess it doesn't say even in the title. Um. Uh, I don't think that they're an asshole. I mean, that's, that's her room, and, like, to tell your kid two hours beforehand, like, hey, your uncle and his girlfriend is going to be using your room. And you have to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Because I said so. Is kind of a bitch move. Right. I mean, it, if it were me and that happened to me, I'd be like, um, okay, well, where am I going to sleep? Because like, even after the fact that it said that her daughter, her uncle's girlfriend's daughter is staying there too. Like, it's a bedroom. Mm -hmm. How are you fitting four people into a bedroom? Like, what's the plan? Mm -hmm. And why was this not discussed with me beforehand? Because it's kind of important. Because, like, if I have things in my room that I don't want people touching mm -hmm. or breaking, mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I have the time and necessary ability to prevent something like that happening. I love how you just go backwards, like... Whee! I mean, what do you think? I don't think she's the asshole. I think she got fed up with her mom being a narcissistic butt crack. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I think once you kind of break that down, but I mean, you don't know everybody's side. That's kind of the... Um. Right. And the point about, oh, I work harder than you. Well, you're the adult. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to be working harder. And the fact that you're not acknowledging your daughter's contribution to the family, like to help you out with, you know, with her, with her own siblings or help you when you have children. Yeah, I don't ever think as a sibling you should be taking care of your own siblings. No, I don't think so either. All right, the total, the title is, um, am I the asshole for refusing to replace my roommate's broken PS4? I, 25 male, live with a roommate, 22 male. We aren't close, we aren't even friends. We found each other on a housemate finder ran by our university because we both have similar desires in a roommate. We live in an off-campus flat together instead of a dorm. It's pretty small, only has one real bedroom. 
the bedroom is private, so it's tiny. So my roommate decided to sleep in the front room. It's far less private as the front door opens onto his room, but it has a big TV he has 24-7 access to. The kitchen and he thought it would be best as he goes out a lot more than I do and gets back late and wouldn't want to wake me. Because of this, usually during the day I hang out in the front room because it's communal space. He's told me he doesn't mind me chilling in his room during my doing my own thing when he's home, but if he's out and I have a girl over to not hang out in his room and to hang in the kitchen or my room, his full room, instead. I feel creepy bringing a girl back to my room straight away, and you can't really make out in our small kitchen. Uh-huh. Yep, I see that. And the front room is a communal space, so I do it anyway. And it's a point of contention. Anyway, I had a girl over, and we were making out on the couch opposite my roommate's bed. She asked me if there was anything on TV. My roommate doesn't like it when I use the big TV when he's out. He's protective over it. I have a tiny. Or, I have a TV. Not a tiny. <laughs> well, who knows? Hey, Naruto joined the match. What? Naruto? Naruto joined the match. Oh, he's going to win it all. Yeah, we're screwed. Believe it. You're welcome. Anyways. He's going to win. Oh, Where he's, on is our, he? he's on our team. Oh, he's on our... We're going to win. Um... <laughs> Anyway, I had a girl over and we were making out on the couch opposite my roommate's bed. She asked me if there was anything on TV. My roommate doesn't like it when I use the big TV while he's out. Sometimes we watch movies together, but he has a load of expensive gaming equipment and consoles he's prote protective over. I have a TV in my room, but it's a kind of a crap piece, so we used his TV. So he has the girl over and they're on... In the room, on the couch, not the bed. My roommate doesn't like it when I use the big TV when he's out. Sometimes we watch movies together, but he has a load of expensive gaming equipment and consoles that he's protective over. I have a TV in my room, but it's kind of a piece of crap, so we used his TV. I was figuring out how to get it working, so the girl came over to help me, and in the process tripped over the PS4 wire, pulling his PS4 off the shelf. She also spilled the beer she was holding all over the console. It smashed. I kind of don't think that is my fault because he keeps it on such a high shelf anyways. But anyways, we left it be and she went home. When my roommate got home, he exploded. He was pissed. I told him it wasn't our fault because he kept it so high up. And he shouldn't keep something he's so protective of near liquid. Well, the girl's beer wouldn't have been near mm -hmm. liquid if you wouldn't have, you know, been in his room. Um, he told me, he repeatedly told me not to use his TV and to call the girl up so she could pay for the damages. I said I didn't want to call up a one-night stand, and that's kind of embarrassing. So he should, he said I should pay for it then. I refused, and he's gone to live with his sister and refused to pay rent. I kind of don't think it was my fault, because he shouldn't keep breakables in the communal space, or he should put them on the ground so that they don't fall, but he keeps asking me to pay for the damages. I don't think that's my responsibility, as I didn't break it. Okay. Um, go ahead. Go ahead. He's an asshole. Yes. Not only is he an asshole, but he's a massage and he's a manipulative asshole. Yeah. Like, he shouldn't have liquids near his Blake breakables. One, you put the liquid there. Two, PlayStation 4 is not a breakable. It's, yes, it can be broken. Many things can be broken. But the fact that it is on a high shelf does not mean, like, that it, it it's not unsafe. Like, it just means, hey, I want to protect, I want to keep this off the ground. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah. Now, I, I mean, we don't have ours very high off the ground, but it's not like they're sitting on the ground. Mm -mm. So I definitely 
definitely, definitely think that he is indeed the axe. And the part about, well, I don't want to call up a one-night stand. The, if you're claiming the one-night stand broke the system... He is giving you a way out of paying it yourself. Don't be a moron and call the one night stand up and say, hey, I need you to pay for this. Or at least go halves with me. Yeah, or at least go half with me. Like, I get it, it's not your friend, but at least have some sort of sense of responsibility. If it's not your property, and if he's told you multiple times, don't touch my TV the number one thing to stay out of trouble would be to not, not touch, touch his TV yeah. or his stuff. Yeah. It's not rocket science. It's really not. Like, just don't. Like, just don't. Right. Hands down, just don't. Just don't. Just, just do it. <laughs> no, like, leave, leave his shit be. Like, he's... I mean, I would be a little, like... Mm. Being out in the, um, open in a room, like, it's, yes, but he's doing that so that you can have the private bedroom. If I, that were me, I'd be, like, going out of my way to, like, not be in his space. Mm -hmm. Because he went out of his way to give me a private space. Right. 